What is up guys? Welcome to our week 6 battle for the GBA D-League. This week we are taking on Jack and, or the Don Fanatic, excuse me, and his Norse Skitty. And uh, you see the team on the right side, what I think he's going to be bringing against me. So uh, let's decide the battle rules here. And um, I'm really hoping to see no Floatzel. <laughs> like, that, that's actually um, like a hidden threat on his team and hopefully he doesn't bring it. Uh, something like Scarf Floatzel could be annoying. But uh, single battle, normal rules. And uh, we're gonna, about to get into this. You guys uh, should know the team that we're bringing. If you don't by now, uh, then please go and check out the Team Builder video right before this one, or link in the description as usual. And uh, also as usual, shout outs to my Jenner, Eric, uh, he aka Heavy Metal Pokemon. And uh, let's get into this. Let's see what he's got. So, pretty confident about this, and uh, let the battle begin. Whew! All right. Jack is selecting his team. Done. We're gonna connect. Uh, I don't think I'm having any internet issues, so we, so we should be good. YouTube was lagging earlier though, so. All right, so we see. Ah, <laughs> yes, first time this season. Let's go. All six correct. Beautiful. All right, so we've got our Scarfed Infernape, which is a decent lead against this team. Uh, I can always switch into uh, into his Lopini with Cress. That's nice. Um, Metagross is not bad, Blastoise is a decent lead as well, he does have the Delmize, I gotta watch out for that thing. Should be faster with Piloswine. Yeah, so let's lead Infernape, that's a pretty safe lead. He's probably going to lead off with his Lopini, but I get a free Moon Blast off on that thing. And, uh, I just realized that, like, I don't have any switch-ins to his, uh, to his Delmize if it's offensive. So I gotta be careful with that. But we are ready, and uh, we do have the Scarf Nape on deck. Ace is ready to uh, to take take the stage against the Dawn Fanatic. And uh, first time we've actually ever played, we should have played in the uh, the PCL, I believe. Uh, I think we were on each other's schedules. I think everybody was on each other's schedules, and uh, that it, that league ended really really early. So this is the first time that I'm getting to play Jack. But I have seen a, a few of his other battles, especially in the PPL, uh, specifically against Jolt and a few other people. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's a very decent player. And uh, he makes a lot of uh, really good predictions. Like th that's what he's really strong at is predictions. So uh, I could see him making a double into uh, Crook when his Lop is in, just to catch my Cresselia with a pursuit, things like that. So we're gonna have to be careful with things like that. Um, we do have the Z Salamence on deck, and it's looking like it can put in a lot of work. I am expecting an Aurora Fable, of course, so I do need to chip that thing down. Jack is issuing the challenge, and let's see what he leads off with. We are going to lead off with Ace, our Infernape, and he is going to lead off with Crikey. Who is this? Uh, this is the uh, the Crook. So even if he's a Scarf Crook, let's see if he has Intimidate. He does, so Crook Intimidate. Crook Intimidate. Uh, so Crookedile. Let's see you. Crookedile default set. Let's say he's Choice Scarf. I, I outspeed him, right? I did I EV this thing to outspeed him. Infernape, Ace, 168 if he's Jolly, yeah, he hits 158, I think I outsped his Latias speed creeping my Salamence, so uh, knowing that, we can U-turn for free here, we can gauge the damage, he is an Intimidate set, so I'm just going to plop on max HP here to gauge what happens, uh, he might switch out because even after an Intimidate, close combat is going to do a lot, uh, but we'll see, we'll go for the U-turn, uh, he is going to stay in on this turn, so we are going to get off a free U-turn. And uh, that is going to do a lot of damage. Is that a crit? No, that did about uh, how much? Hold on. We're going to see right here. Uh, I gauge that it was about here, so about 35%. So he shouldn't have max HP. Yeah, he shouldn't be max HP, so he's an offensive variant. So I have one of two plays. I can either go into my uh, Blastoise, which I think is the better play, or I can go into my Salamence. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to get up rocks, and then he's going to go into Delmize on my Blastoise. So I am going to go Blastoise, but I might make a hard read on his Delmize and just Dark Pulse immediately. Because Delmize doesn't like taking that move at all. He is going to rocks. We're not going to try to spin because he does have the Delmize. So Blastoise, Gamagori. I might spin. I might spin because he's free to attack me. Dark Pulse to Delmize if it's Assault, assault Vest. Let's see. Uh, assault Vest, Dark Pulse does 59 to 69 from my spread. If he's a max HP variant uh, with, let's say, max spit F. 46 to 55. And if he's a boosting nature, like careful, then we do 42 to 50. So 
If he loses Crook, he no longer has Intimidate on his team. So I don't think he's going to stay in. But is it too early to make that kind of play? Because he might just anchor shot me with his Delmise. Then I have no plays. Shadow Claw won't kill Metagross though. So I'm going to actually go for obviously the Mega Evolution. And I think we're going to Hydro Pump on this turn because it covers everything. So we'll go for uh, Hydro Pump here. He's going to withdraw probably into the Delmise is what I'm assuming. Uh, Wanker, yeah, that's definitely Delmise. And uh, my HP bar is a little bit off. So we're going to get off the Mega Evolution. Let's see if we connect the Hydro Pump. That would be really nice for information. As uh, we're not going to try to spin just yet. We can spin later. Hydro Pump does connect. Okay, cool. I'm going to get this off. And that's going to do 25%, which is not Assault Vest damage. Uh, not at all. Careful. Adamant. Assault Vest. Uh, well, my HP bar is a little bit off, actually. Hold on a second. Can I move it? Is this movable? Unlock it. Uh, let me try to rework this. There we go. That should be better. And so he took... Yeah, he still took about 25, though. And unless I got an absolute max roll, which is really unlikely, I don't think he's Assault Vested. Actually, we would have done more if he wasn't Assault Vest. So if he's a salt vest with this spread, Dark Pulse does 60 to 71 to him. Um, I think I'm just going to go into my Metagross. As much as it's a check to his... Uh, as much as it's a check to his Clefable, I think that's the best play. Well, Power with Anchor Shot, he wouldn't go for Earthquake here. Um... Or do I just Dark Pulse and pray for the flinch? <laughs> no, Blastoise is too necessary. I think we go into... Yeah, I'm going to go into uh, into Metagross. So with this kind of spread, how much does Metagross do to him with a Pursuit? Metagross Alphonse does 24 to 29. Okay, so double that damage if he switches out. Alright, he's going to go for Hidden Power. What Hidden Power is this? Ice? Oh, that's definitely Ice. Yup. <laughs> Alright, so um, we can do one of two things here. We can either get up our rocks or we can just try to pursue this thing. Uh, I think I think getting up my rocks makes the most sense. Because if they're up, then the next time this thing comes in on my Blastoise, it dies, right? Blastoise, Gamagori. Uh, with not as much HP on the Delmise. Let's say it has this. Yeah, it takes like 62 min. So, yeah, we'll get up rocks here. And his form of hazard removal is this Delmise. He's going to stay in probably to Earthquake me, I would assume. He's got HP Ice. What else does he have? Shadow Claw. Okay, so he's gonna, just going to go for his stab. All right, so I don't have my spinner. Uh, this is a very good answer to his Clefable. I'm not sure I want to let it go down just yet, but if he spins, then I'm in a bad position. So, how much does Metagross do to him? Again... Meteor Mash does 41 to 49. I'm heavily considering it. And then just going into Pillow Swine after. Because then my rocks stay up. Yeah, I don't want him spinning away my rocks. I'm just going to go for the Meteor Mash. Hopefully we connect this. As we do. Good. It's going to do a good amount of damage to this thing. And he's going to go for Rapid Spin. So I'm not letting you get rid of my rocks for free, bro. There's no way... Uh, in fact, I could probably just Meteor Mash here, or even Pursuit, if I want to. How much does he add again? Is that just above 25? Yeah, I can Pursue. Um, say he's this. 26 to 30. So I have a really good shot to knock him out with a Pursuit. Uh, and I can get up my rocks later. They're not super necessary either. I don't need to worry too much about them. And so yeah, I'm going to go for a Pursuit. As he's going to withdraw. Woo! Alright, goodbye, wanker. Goodbye. You are dead. And I still have my Metagross for his Clefable. So, obviously, now he can go into Volcarona. Uh, or Crocodile. Either one. So, we're still pretty healthy. We're almost at half. That's really nice. Looking good. Let's see what he's going to do. we got to get, uh, what is it, Delmise off the layer? Off the, uh, the layout, rather. Okay, so here's Crook. Here's the Intimidation. 
This is his, uh, his rocker. So, I didn't get to see what kind of damage it inflicted. It could obviously be choiced in some way. Uh, Earthquake is an obvious play. Knockoff is also a possible play. Crunch, Pursuit, all of these are possible plays. Uh, I'm going to go out into my Blastoise, because I am Mega Evolved now, so I can take his hits a little bit better. As he is going not to Pursuit me. Sweet. So let's see what he goes for. Let's see if he's banded. What kind of damage are you inflicting to me? 163 with Crunch down to... 109. That's definitely not banded. 109... Uh, hold on. 163 minus 109 divided by divided by, excuse me, uh, equals huh? 63 minus 109 divided by 186. He just did 29% to me. So let's see a crook. Crocodile. Default set. Crunch to my Blastoise. Gamagori. 30 to 36 with a choice scarf. He did 29. So unless he has a little bit less. Okay, so I have Lunar Dance. Gotta keep this in mind. I think we just Rapid Spin. Honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna Rapid Spin. As he's gonna go for Earthquake, so he's not choice locked. Now the question is, do I lock myself into Spin? Like, do I, do I spam Rapid Spin to make sure that he doesn't get up rocks? This is going to do nothing to him. Or do I just attack? Or do I switch out into my Ments? I switch out into Ments. I can still Lunar Dance this back up later. Uh, Nape doesn't really care. Uh, Piliswine doesn't really care. Metagross doesn't really care. Yeah, I'm going to switch out into Ments. We're gonna get this uh, this intimidation off. Whether he rocks or not, I'm still out of range of rocks with Blastoise. I'm above 20, so we're gonna get off this intimidate right now. As he's gonna go for Crunch. Okay, that's fine. As he's gonna do not too much. 120 out of 177 is what? 120 out of 177. That means I'm at 67. He did uh, 68 rather. He did 33 after an intimidate. So Salamence, Grandina, I'm pretty free to fire off a Sky Strike here if I want to. Uh, fly with a Z, with no Intimidate, he's definitely dead. Dragon Claw, uh, 106 to 125, so that can also kill. Uh, default set, but if he's more bulky, I can still kill him. Uh, does that have Z-Move factored in? Yes, it does. So that's only 46 to 54, so never mind. Um, he did 33 to me, I believe. 55 seconds left. Uh, yeah, so 31 to 37. That makes sense with my Intimidate. Uh, all right, so how much does Clefable take from Sky Strike? Is what I want to find out. Clefable, Fly, Z. Uh, where's the Z-Move on Fly? There it is. 73 to 86, so that's pretty good. Um, I think I'm just going to click it. I think I'm just gonna click it. I can Dragon Nets as well, but Z Fly pretty much nets me a kill. Essentially. If I get rid of Crook, then no more rocks. If I get rid of Lop, then Cress is free to Lunar Dance. If I get rid of Clef, which I'm not going to with one Fly, um, I'm just afraid of Clef coming in. If I'm afraid of Clef coming in, what do I do? Do I go Metagross? Uh, yes. I double into Metagross. I'm afraid of that thing coming in. Alright, so we're gonna go to, to Metagross here. He's gonna withdraw. Okay, cool. So we know he's faster than me, too. This is important, because we both withdrew on the same turn. He's gonna go into his Clefable. We are gonna get in on our Metagross, and I think I'm gonna get up rocks now. Wait, what? What just happened? Did I not click Metagross? Did I take too much time? What just happened? Okay, that was weird. Uh, but we're gonna double into Metagross. I don't know why we didn't there. That was real weird. Okay, I probably run at, ran out of time. That's my bad, guys. But we are gonna go into Metagross here. And, uh, he's gonna go for Protect. Sweet. Alright. Cool, so we get in Metagross for free. Uh, he has no more, uh, hazard removal. Outside of maybe Latias, if he has, uh, Defog on that. Uh, but I'm free to get back up my rocks at this point. That's exactly what we're gonna do. 
He's gonna withdraw. Okay, so he's afraid of his clef getting chipped. Now I get to find out if his clef is unaware or magic guard the next time it comes in. His Volk is gonna come in here. I'm gonna get my rocks. There's no way you psychic a Metagross. You have not seen my four moves. There is no chance in hell that you psychic a Metagross. So I think I'm, personally, I think I'm pretty free to go into Infernape here. Uh, and then just rock slide. Because nothing really comes in for free. Now that his rocks are gone, I'm pretty much good to go into uh, Salamence every time his uh, his Crocodile comes in. So I am going to switch out directly into Infernape. As we are going to get out of here. I don't know what happened. I didn't see. I didn't see in time. I was looking at my calc. Or I was looking at something else. He goes for Fire Blast. Okay, how much is this going to do? Uh, that did a lot. What the? Okay, that was a crit. Uh, 58 out of 159. I want to see what that crit looks like on the calc. 58 out of 159. So I'm at 37, 36. So he did uh, 30. He did 63.5 to me with a Volcarona Fire Blast crit. Volcarona Fire Blast. Fire Blast crit. Where is it? To my Infernape. Ace. Ace took. Uh, let's see, Fire Blast, okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so he's not Specs or anything, he's just Timid Max Special Attack, more than likely. Alright, so I can Rock Slide here, uh, pretty freely, or I can U-turn if he's fearing it. And I think he's fearing it. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn. He stays in. Okay. So as long as I go into something that can kill this, it doesn't matter what he does, right? He might be Charty Berry. Rock slide with a Charty Berry. Yeah, but Flare Blitz does so much. 77 to 91. I can revenge it with that. Alright, so I have to kind of sack Blastoise at this point, because I didn't get that double on the uh, on the Clefable, and he was able to go into his... Uh, well, I guess he protected, so it came out to the same. He's going to go for the Quiver. That's fine. I figured he would. So he definitely has Charty Berry on this thing. He wouldn't have done that otherwise. So at this point, we are going to Rock Slide to make sure that he can't Quiver again. And he goes for Bug Buzz. Okay, smart play. So our Blastoise is dead. Now, if I click Rock Slide and he is Charty Berry, my Infernape dies, and then I have no way to revenge this. So I think I have to Flare Blitz. But what if he has a lot of HP? 64 to 76. I don't have another play. I gotta do this. Right? So, by the way, am I in Blaze? I don't think I am. Okay, he's at 84. If he's not max HP, 77 to 91, so it's halfway. How much does my Pillow Swine's Ice Shard do to him? 12. What if he has like 80 investment? 11 and Infernapes does 72. So yeah, that would kill, probably. Yeah, I gotta go for Flare Blitz. He's gonna withdraw. Into Crikey. That's his, uh... His Crocodile. So he scouts for it this time. Alright, at least now, if he doesn't have, um... If he doesn't have Defog, then I'm fine. How much recoil do I take? Okay, that's fine. Actually, does that... Am I Blaze? Yeah, I am. So that puts me in blaze, so that actually allows me to kill the Volcarona guaranteed. So I'm able to Flare Blitz again here, because he gave me the Intimidate. He's going to withdraw. Okay, that's fine. And he's going to go into Corrin. Who's Corrin? The Latias. Good doubles. I like the doubles on uh, on Jack's part. Very nice. So we're going to Flare Blitz. Our Rocker is still alive, so it's not so bad. As I'm going to fall into 21%. Okay. He's Leftovers. Good to know. 
Very good to know. Does he have Defog is the question. <laughs> We're gonna go into Metagross, because we are sort of healed up now. I didn't get that extra turn of recovery because I didn't double when I should have. When it should have let me double, rather. So, Metagross is in now. As he's gonna roost, that's fine. Obviously, he knows I have Pursuit because I pursued his Delmise. So if he switches out here, that's not a great play for him. Question is, what does he have to cover this? Shadow Ball? Probably Shadow Ball, right? All right, so that I got that recovery on that turn. What I can do is I can actually make a double into uh, my Pillow Swine and then get off a Toxic on something if I want to and scout for the Shadow Ball. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a Toshiro, switch out. He doesn't switch, he stays in, he's definitely faster than me. There's no way that he beat this thing to be slower than a Metagross. It just doesn't make any sense. As he is going to go for the Shadow Ball, so we do cover that with Pillow Swine. So very nice. As uh, we take that very nicely. So Shadow Ball, defa uh, Shadow Ball Roost is what we've seen. Shadow Ball Roost, Dragon Move. He might not have Defog. He might not have Defog. Alright, I'm going to go for a Toxic here. Let's see what he does. Goes for Dragon Pulse, okay. That's gonna do a little bit of damage. It's a little bit of a higher base power as well as being a uh, stab, so that's cool. As long as I don't let this thing die, I should be good against the Volcarona. So we are gonna get off the Toxic <coughs> on the uh, Latias. Quite nice. It's now toxic essentially for the rest of the game. And uh, I'm just gonna go for the Icicle Crash on this turn as uh, he doesn't have a real switch into it. We'll see what he does. Avalanche would have been cool here. He's going to Dragon Pulse again, so he wants this weak. Why? Uh, Blastoise is gone, by the way. Got to get that off the layout. Please connect. Thank you. We are going to get off this very, very big hit on the Latias. As that is going to get some leftovers and some recovery outside of the leftovers. So, I can make one of two plays here. I can either go into my Metagross on his sh uh, on his Dragon Pulse. I could also just go Cresselia. Ice Shot guarantees he dies. Uh, Infernape can always go for Rock Slide now. It doesn't really matter. And once I get up to plus one, I find out what Clefable is. I Sky Strike it. Dead. Right? I wasn't keeping track of how much his Dragon Pulses were doing. But I think I still live one. 63, 63, 63 is 189. He did more than just 19 damage to me with the Shadow Ball. So yeah, I think I, I live this. So I'm going to go for the Ice Shard right here. He's going to withdraw. That's fine. What's he going into? Ploppany. <laughs> Smart. Smart to go into this. Very, very intelligent. All right, so we are going to get off this Ice Shard damage. That's going to do a lot. Is that a crit? No, nope, it's just... Normal damage, apparently. Lopini is not very uh, bulky unless it mega evolves. That's base 65, base 84, yeah. And then it goes up to 94 after it mega evolves. So, yeah, we're going to go directly into Serenity. I can uh, I can CC sweep if he lets his Clefable die at any point. So we're going to go into Serenity here. Let's see what he does. Does he Toxic me? Because we are Resto Chesto. Let's find out. So we got to find a way to kill Clefable. It's looking really good for Metagross to put in a lot of work in the late game. Uh, as he goes for Fake Out. Cool. I'm good with that. Uh, what's he going to do now? His Volcarona was at, what, 83 we said before it switched out? So it comes in at 33. He wouldn't switch it into a potential Psy Shock. So I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast here. He's going to withdraw. What's he going into? Corin, that is the Latias. Okay, so we kill the Latias because it takes rocks and it takes this Moon Blast that should drop. Under 25%, definitely. There's no doubt in my mind. Okay, so we get off the damage on that. It dies. And now what I have to do is if he brings in the Volk, I have to go into Pilla Swine. He goes into Burb. Who's Burb? Okay, that is the, the Volk. I never, I never took note of its nickname. So he's going to go into this. Um, and I'm going to get his Latias off the layout. Uh, 
So if I go Pill of Swine, I know he can't knock me out with a Bug Buzz right now because he's not in Swarm yet. But I don't want to take more damage with this because this is my response to Lopany. So we are going to go into Toshiro. Switch. As long as I have my Metagross alive and my Crest, I'm good. <laughs> His Crook is really, really low. So that's really good. He's going to go for the Bug Buzz. This shouldn't kill me either. Oh, it does. Wow. Okay. Right. I don't remember. Is this Bug or is this Poison? What am I talking about? Okay. So now we're going to go into Ace. And this time I'm going to go for Rock Slide because it doesn't matter if he switches out unless he's Healing Wish Clef. Or Healing Wish Lop. So, Rock Slide should kill, right? Always. Infernape versus Volk. I don't want to go for uh, Flare Blitz because if he switches in his Clefable, I die. Volcarona, Rock Slide to Charty. Does 44 min, I believe. Yeah, okay, for 43 min. Uh, what about the max HP? Uh, 252. 40 min. Yeah, he dies. So, we'll Rock Slide. Please connect. Yes! I thought it missed for a second. Holy crap! My heart stopped. I was like, no! Don't do this to me. Oh my god. <laughs> we connected all of our inaccurate moves. Let's go. So we killed the Volcarona. All that's left is the Lopany, the uh, Clefable, and the Crocodile. So we should be good. In comes Luma, the Clefable. Does it take rock damage? Yes. Okay. Unaware Clef. Called it. Good. All right. Straight into Alphonse. If Alphonse gets weakened at any given moment, it's fine. He should pull a double here into his Crook. That would be a really, really solid play. Because I have no responses to Crook anymore. My Pillow Swine died. I gotta get it off the layout as well. What did he go for? Is that Calm Mind? Okay, that's fine. Calm Mind Crest. Where's Pillow Swine? There it is. Uh, Calm Mind Clef, excuse me. Uh, at this point, I don't need my Infernape anymore. As good as it looks in the endgame with a Close Combat Sweep or a Flare Blitz Sweep, uh, I only need it to kill this Clefable in case it kills my Metagross right here. It might be Babiri Bear. No, it's Leftovers. We see Leftovers. Uh, so we are going to go for the Meteor Mash right now. And should he switch out into his Crook to get the Intimidate? I don't really care. We are going to connect the Meteor Mash. Beautiful. And that is going to cleanly knock out the Clefable with a critical hit. And I get the attack rates. <laughs> what the hell is that? That is crazy. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure Clef didn't die straight away to that. I could be wrong. But I'm going to check Metagross right now. Metagross, Alphonse. Um, Metagross doesn't outspeed anything anymore. I don't need it. Uh, so I can kill off this uh, uh, this Crocodile right now. And then just go into my... Well, actually, he can switch up moves. Hold on. Let me think about this. So, if he has Quick Attack, would that end me? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to go into my, uh, my Salamence regardless. I know that he's faster than me, which means I think he has to be Jolly, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna find this out right now. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I'm not gonna waste my time calcing something that already happened. Let's check, uh, Crook versus Salamence. Crook, Salamence, actually we don't know if he's faster, because he just switched out on a turn where I thought I switched out. So, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake here, because it kills 100%. As he's going to go for the crunch. Does that even kill me? It's from a crook. It should, right? Nope. All right. Well, then. Uh, now we kind of have to pray that the uh, Lopany isn't power-up punch. Because that could be horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> well, I still have Intimidate, so it's not that big a deal. So we're going to knock out the crook. And all that's left is this bunny, which comes in on rocks. And I think at this point, I just stay in and I Earthquake because I got the attack raise. So I'll, uh, I'll be able to kill off this Lopany with an Earthquake, should it decide to uh, go for a Power-Up Punch, which might not even kill me, actually. I'm going to check that. Lop, uh, Power-Up Punch, Low Kick to my Metagross does... That's not Metagross, that's Salamence. Metagross, Alphonse, Low Kick normally does 21 to 25. How much does Power-Up Punch do? Uh, Power-Up Punch does like 7 to 9.1. So yeah, he can't even go for a Power-Up Punch. We're going to click Earthquake. I'm not playing for Differential at this point. He goes for High Jump Kick. He connects. Cool. That's fine. So we are going to let Alphonse go down here. He gets a crit. That that one definitely didn't matter. <laughs> I can tell you guys that much. That one definitely didn't matter. Also, I was factoring in Lop and not Mega Lop. But he did 16 to 19 to me, so I think we still live the Power Up Punch. So uh, we are going to scout for the Quick Attack right now, I think. And try to give Ace the kill. 
Um, actually, Lopany, Ice Punch, Adamant to Salamence. Guaranteed kill. What if you're at minus one? 65 to 79. I think I'm at 63, right? Uh, yeah, I think we don't play games with this. Uh, I think we just go Mens, right? We get the Intimidate drop. And then I think we switch into Crest and we finish the game. Uh, he might not even have Ice Punch, though. He might just have Return. We'll see. But uh, we saw Fake Out. We saw High Jump Kick. Yeah, it could be Ice Punch and some other move. Let's try to conserve Differential now. Let's go into uh, Serenity on this thing. We're just giving it Intimidate drops. Just to make sure that Crest can take hits as well as possible. I know I'm taking an unnecessary hit here, but I am Resto Chesto, keep in mind. And he does have the Ice Punch. So hopefully he doesn't freeze me. If his last move is Quick Attack, this could be bad. Okay, we're good. So we're just gonna Moon Blast on this turn. As he goes for another Ice Punch, yeah, he's playing for his win. His win would be freezing me. And he gets it. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh-oh. What if you're at minus two? <laughs> 63.2. I think Solomon's... How much is Solomon's at? Uh, 120 out of 177. I have to see. 67%. Okay, well, so we're good. Yeah, what am I talking about? We're fine. As long as he doesn't have Power Punch as his last move, and if it is Power Up Punch, then he doesn't have Quick Attack, so we're fine. So I just attack with Moon Blast. That's me trying to keep Differential. He's just going to keep going for Ice Punch. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if that's your strongest move to hit my Cress, that's really good because I can just spam Rest now. Let's click Rest. As he keeps going for Ice Punch. You'd think he was like Choice Locked <laughs> at this rate. He just keeps going for it. We stay Frozen Solid for consecutive turns. Rest is the, I mean, Freeze is the scariest status, guys, and this is exactly why. This right here. His last move is Quick Attack, isn't it? Oh god, that's bad. Rest, because I ha in that case I have to go into Salamence, get the Intimidate drop, go into Infernape, and then go back into uh, Salamence after and Intimidate him again. He might also be Healing Wish, I don't know, but I'm going to cl keep clicking Rest. Ice Punch again. Come on, Cress. Thaw! Thaw? How many turns was that? Does somebody want to let me know in the comments? That's annoying. And the thing is, I can't even play games with, with Infernape now. Oh, that's so annoying. Let me get Metagross and Cress off the layout. Yeah, I can't even, like, pray that he doesn't have uh, Quick Attack, because if he does, uh, if he doesn't, then, and I go into Ace, then cool, we win. But if he does, then his Ice Punch still kills my Salamence. It's 51 to 63. If he freezes my Ments, I'm going to be so angry. Like, really angry. <laughs> I understand I got a crit on his Clef, but at the same time, like, I could have revenged it with anything, so... We gotta make the correct play of going into uh, Infernape here. And getting the third Intimidate drop on this thing. He's definitely gonna Ice Punch, but... I have to get the 2 plus 1 with the Intimidate. That puts him at 51 to 63, so he wouldn't kill me. Uh, does he kill Infernape? No, he doesn't. So he would have to reveal a uh, Quick Attack here. We're gonna close combat. Does he have QA? Yeah, he does. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't go Infernape. Oh, that could have been bad. Alright, now, Jack, no crit. No freeze, please. All right, that's all I ask. Let me fire off my Z move so that we can go six and O. Oh. All right. Now for another intimidate. We have 52 HP, eight defense. Cool. We are adamant. Sky strike always kills. Z power. Supersonic sky strike. Let's go, guys. Come on, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me or freeze me. Yes. Yes. There we go. Let's go. Sky strike this rabbit! Woo! 
I get to see this for the first time, guys. For the first time. Knock out this bunny. It's a 1-0 instead of what could have been a 3-0. Woo! Oh my god. That was my closest game of the season. This should not have been this close. This should not have been this close. Honestly, Jack brought all the right sets, though. He brought Quick Attack, which was a smart bring. He brought Ice Punch. He brought Fake Out, and he brought the... Uh... Yeah, he brought everything. He brought everything right. That was that was perfectly correct. So, yeah, save the battle video. Good game to my opponent, the Don Fanag. Guys, go make sure to check him out in the description down below. Uh, his link is also in the description of uh, the Team Builder video, if you guys got a chance to check that out. If not, check that out in the description as well. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's the game, guys. We are now 6-0 uh, with a plus... 17 differential I want to say uh, this and the uh, the game against actually this is by far the closest game But the game against Dan last week as well was really really close So uh, next week we take on the Durham Dragons. get ready for that one We're taking on the uh, two hard to pronounce team names in the league uh, for everybody else anyway for me uh, Norik Skiddy and Durham Dragons. that's super easy, but uh, make sure to check that guy that out guys next week and uh, Hopefully I'll be coming at you with some lives this week uh, trying to get that uh, started up again. So yeah, that's it uh, for this week guys If you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys later. Ciao